Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Math. I am Dr. Samuel. And in this video, we are continuing. In fact, we are completing simplification of fractions by looking at fractions with mixed operations. That means you may have addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. However, since we have not done division as yet, I will first start with a few examples on how we divide by fractions. So let's go. So we have a six examples on how we divide by fractions. So number one, 15 over 16 divided by five over eight. Now, what you must remember is that when you are dividing by fractions, the divisor, for example, in the first one, the divisor is 5 over 8. You invert the divisor and then multiply. So, for example, number 1 becomes 15 over 16. Multiply by, and we invert the 8 over 5, the 5 over 8, sorry, to get 8 over 5. And then we continue as before by multiplying. So we can cancel out the 8 and the 16. 8 into 8 is 1. 8 into 16 is 2. And the 5 and 15 can be cancelled out. 5 into 5 is 1. And 5 into 15 is 3. So we are left with only 3 over 2. But that is an improper fraction. Convert to a mixed number. 2 into 3 is 1. Remainder 1 over 2. So the answer is one and a half. Let's go to the second one. So just continue as we did. Seven over 12 divided by three over four becomes seven over 12 multiplied by four over three. The 4 can go into 12, so 4 into 4 is 1, 4 into 12 is 3. You can cancel that again. So the answer will be 7 over 3 times 3, which is 9. Number 3, 8 over 9 divided by 9 over 8. That will become 8 over 9. Multiply by, and we invert the 9 over 8 to get 8 over 9. And since you cannot cancel out anything, you multiply 8 times 8 is 64, and 9 times 9 is 81. So that's number 3. Number 4, 5, and 6 are mixed numbers, but we just proceed the same way we did for multiplication, we convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So 2 and 3 quarter, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So 11 over 4 multiplied by 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1, that's 9 over 8. We invert to get 8 over 9. And we can cancel out the 4 and the 8. 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 8 is 2. So the answer will be 2 times 11 is 22. Over 9 times 1 is 9. Convert to an, a mixed number. And 9 into 22. That is 2. Remain the 4 over 9. Number five, 
three and a half is three times two, six, six plus one, seven over two. And we multiply by one times eight, eight plus one, nine over eight. We invert it to get eight over nine. The two and the eight can cancel out. Two into eight is one, two into two is one, two into eight is four. And that's it. Four times seven is 28 over one times nine is nine. And you can go to a mixed number. Nine into 28 is three, three nine is 27. So you mean the one over nine. And finally, five and two fifths. Five times five is 25. 25 plus two is 27 over five. Multiply by one and nine tenths. That's one times 10 is 10. 10 plus nine, 19 over 10. So you invert to get 10 over 19. The 5 and 10 can cancel. 5 into 5 is 1. 5 into 10 is 2. And that's it. So 2 times 27 is 54 over 19. And we convert that to a mixed number. 19 into 54. That is 2. 2 remainder 16. So 16 over 19. And that is how we divide by fractions. So now let's move on to looking at problems where you have a combination of operations. This first example, you have to calculate the exact value of 1 and 3 quarters squared divided by 3 and a half expressing your answer as a fraction. So again, first thing you do, convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So one three quarter, one times four is four, four plus three is seven. So that is seven over four, all squared. And we divide in by three, and a half, three times two is six. Six plus one is seven. So seven over two. The next step, remember our bottom rule, we have to square before we divide it. The square is the other part of the bottom rule. When we square seven over four, we must square both the numerator and the denominator. So seven squared is 49 over and 4 squared is 16 and we are dividing so we change to multiplication and invert the divisor so that becomes 2 over 7. You can consider the 7 and the 49. 7 into 7 is 1. 7 into 49 is 7. You can cancel the 2 and the 16. 2 into 2 is 1, and 2 into 16 is 8. So the answer is simply 7 over 8. Let's go to the next one. We have to calculate the exact value of 2 and a quarter times 4 fifths all over 3 fifths minus a half. All over means divide. But anytime you have that situation, you work out everything on top, then work out everything at the bottom, and then you divide the two. So again, the first thing we do, let's go at the top, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So two and a quarter becomes two times four, eight. Eight plus one is nine. So you get nine over four 
multiply by four fifths. The fours will cancel out. So we'll end up at the top with nine over five. The bottom is three fifths minus a half. We are subtracting, so we find the lowest common multiple of the denominators, and that is 10. So bring both fractions to the same denominator 10. So we multiply 5 by 2 to get 10. So multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. Minus, multiply 2 by 5 to get 10. So multiply 1 by 5 to get 5 over 10. And so 6 minus 5 is 1 over 10. So we are dividing the top 9 over 5 by the bottom 1 over 10. So it is 9 over 5. We're dividing, so we change to multiplication and invert the divisor. So 10 over 1. And the 5 and the 10 can cancel out. 5 into 5 is 1. 5 into 10 is 2. So all we're left with is 18 over 1, which is just 18. Answer. Okay, let's do one more. I think we have time to do one more. So we have to calculate the exact value of 2 and 4 ninths divided by 4 and 2 thirds and then minus three over seven. So again, the first thing we do is convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. Two and four nines, two times nine is 18, 18 plus four is 22. So we have 22 over nine. Then we are dividing that by four and two thirds. Now, instead of putting 22 over 9 and then over, as we have here, we know over means divide. So I'm going to put divided by 4 and 2 thirds, convert to an um, improper fraction. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 and 2 is 14. So we are dividing by 14 over 3. And then we subtract from that. 3 over 7. That's what we are doing. So we divide, obviously, before we subtract, according to Bordner's rule. So let us divide the 22 over 9 by 14 over 3. So we get 22 over 9 multiplied by, and we invert the 14 over 3 to get 3 over 14. The 3 and the 9 can cancel out. 3 into 3 is 1. 3 into 9 is 3. And then 14 and 22 have a common factor, which is 2. 2 into 14 is 7. And 2 into 22 is 11. 11 times 1 is 11. And 3 times 7 is 21. So after the division, we have 11 over 21. We must now subtract from that 3 over 7. We're subtracting, so we find the lowest common denominator. The lowest common multiple of 21 and 7 is 21. So 11 over 21, we just put 11, minus since we multiply 7 by 3 to get 21, we multiply 3 by 3 to get 9. And so the answer is 11 minus 9 is 2 over 21. So that is it. That is simplification of fractions. Please try some more examples on your own. You can share if you have any problems. So I can go over any um concept or problem that you have on this topic. We are going to move in the next video to decimal fractions, simplification of decimal fractions, 
especially approximating to decimal places, significant figures, and standard form, which is very important. So, if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, or you can like or share. See you next time.